Okay, it's time for test two of my homemade 3D printer. Can't really see it, but we now have the Arduino Mega running the ramps board. And a ton of wires all over the place, and I don't even have them all hooked up yet, like the heat bed is not hooked up. We have a new motor on the x-axis. Uh, the other one was cutting out, and this time I aimed the wires out so they wouldn't get in the way of the wire going around to the extruder. And I'm still having some troubles with the wire to the extruder drooping a little bit. But uh, we'll have to work on that another time. We're using Fronterface to run the machine. For instance, there's Y-axis moving away. y-axis moving towards me. There's x-axis to the right. x-axis to the left. Z-axis. Yep, going up. Never really run it all the way up to see what would happen. Why did that sound different than the time before? I'm in a higher level. Looks like there's going to be a tight squeeze between the back side of the extruder and the back side of the gantry, but it should clear okay. Well, that's interesting why it sounds a little different on occasion. I was a little worried that the uh, lead screws would wobble a lot because the uh, couplers aren't quite cut straight but there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of wobble in it running it repeatedly because I want to see what happens as we approach maximum. Doesn't look good for... Uh... Oh wow, we are clearing. Wow, it's a tight squeeze between the uh, back side of the y-axis, or x-axis I mean in the gantry. We got collision here someplace. Ah, oh, yeah. What it is is those screws I put in. Uh, they need to be redone. Probably have to re-level it too. But the ribbon cable definitely reached. Well, there we have it. Well, you can't do two commands at a time. It only executes one command at a time. So, anyhow, that's front or face. Running my homemade 3D CNC. Next test will be to uh, load a 3D program and actually see what happens. So that's all for tonight.